Welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can set up a coming soon or a under construction page for WordPress websites and you can do it very fast and easily with the Elementor plugin. So let's get started right away and I will show you what to do. So I will start off by creating a new page and therefore I go to the WordPress dashboard as you can see over here and you can see the pages option. I already have clicked on it so you can see all the pages that are created for this website. And I will create a new page by clicking on add new on this button over here. So click on it. And now you can fill in a title for this page and I will call this one example one. After that you can click on publish, publish again. So now this page has already been published and then click on edit with Elementor by the blue button. So now you can see that the page is being displayed. Only the page title that I have filled in into the WordPress dashboard is being displayed along with the header and with the footer. But for the coming soon or the under construction page, I only want to display the text that is necessary and I don't want to show all the other stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this page title and you can do it by clicking on the settings options over here at the bottom at the left. Then you can select this option over here to hide the page title and now it's visible again. And another way to do it, and that's the option I would recommend you to do, is you go to the page layout options over here and instead of default you need to select the Elementor canvas option and with this option, I click on it so now it's going to load again and with this option as you can see there is nothing being displayed on the canvas. So the header, the footer and also the page title are hidden. So that's what we want for this page. So now of course you can set up the page and you can create it completely from scratch with all the different widgets that are being displayed at the left. And I also have explained this in other videos. So if you completely new with Elementor then you can check that out. But it's pretty self explanatory so you can Click on this icon at the plus icon, then you can select the section that you want to import with the columns, with the amount of columns that it has inside. So for example, if I select this one, this section has two columns, so I click on it. And now you can see that the, that the section has been uh, imported and you can see two columns. And then you can drag the widgets into the columns and that way, for example, a heading widget then you can customize it and that way you can build up the page completely from scratch exactly how you want it to be. But, but an easier way to do this is by using the templates that are available in Elementor and you can import them by clicking on the folder icon and over here you can see the pages tab and also the blocks tab and the pages tab are all kind of different pages that are completely built with all the widgets inside of Elementor and as you can see the widgets already have been customized and been being styled so that they appear as they do on these examples. And you can select a template and you can click on insert to import it. And then you can customize all the widgets if you want to. But then you already have a basic construction for the website so that it saves you a lot of time. And another way to do it is you can search for coming soon or on the construction pages. You can see here already a coming soon page team is being displayed. But if you search for under construction, for example, then you can see that there are already three templates available. So let me show you the first one by clicking on it. Now you can have a look at the template. This one look nice. Let me show you the other ones. This one looks like this. I don't really like the image, but I'm not a big fan of classic art or how you want to call it. Then you have the third option. This is this is this one. So as I mentioned, you can insert the template by clicking on this green button. And now let's search for coming soon pages. So I type in coming and now you see that there are five different examples that you can uh, choose from. So this one uh, is a nice one. 
And of course you can change all the images and text and all the widgets. So let me show you one more. So let me show you one more. This one. And for this example, I'm going to insert this one by clicking on the green button over here. So let's do that. Click on apply. So now you see that the template has been imported. And if I hide this menu, you can see it looks like this for visitors. And there's one thing that bothers me. And that is that this image is in front of this text over here, something grand. So I want the text something grand to be displayed in front of the image. And you can do that by changing the Z index, as I also have mentioned in another video. And to do that, you can select the widget. So in this case, it's this one. Then I go to the advanced tab. I scroll down and go to the Z index option. And now you can see that it has been set to 10. But if, but if I increase this to something like 20, now you can see that it has been placed on top of this image over here. So that's looking better. If you don't want to display the social icons, you can just delete them or you can delete this complete section like this. You can delete this logo or, or text, uh, or, or this is an image uh, actually. You can change this image or you can delete it. And this is a nice uh, element or a nice widget that you can use inside of Elementor. You can see if you select it that, it, that this is the countdown widget. And over here at the due date, you can set up the due date and then select a date that's in the future. So let's do that. Let's change it to, for example, Monday, the 28th of March. And you can also set up a specific time if you want to. So you can do that over here at the bottom. So that's the way to do it. And another thing I want to show you is how to change this background color. So now it's being set to a Bordeaux kind of color. But if you want to change that to something else, you just go to this option over here, settings at the left corner at the bottom again, click on it. Then you need to go to the style tab over here, click on it and over the color option. And if you click on it, you can now see that this color has been set. But if you change it to something like green, for example, then you can adjust this. So this is just an example and I won't go into all the details on how to change and customize everything. That's something I already have explained in other videos. And for the most people that watch this that are already kind of familiar with Elementor know already how to do that. So let's continue. So I click on the green update button. So now this design has been saved. And let's say if this is a coming soon page, then of course I don't want the visitors to be able to view all the other pages that are now displayed on the website. So if you don't have any other pages, then that's fine. But if you do have other pages uh, on your website, then you can make sure that visitors won't be able to see them. And therefore you need to go to the WordPress dashboard. So I click on this hamburger menu and then click on exit to dashboard like this. Click on the WordPress icon to view all the pages that has been created. And then you can go to the quick edit option over here. And there you can change the status of the page. So now it's been set to published, but you can also make it a draft. So that means that visitors can't uh, view the page or you can set the date to some date that's in the future. So then the page will be displayed on that date. So there are a few. And one thing you need to make sure is that if you have created an under construction or a coming soon page, then you need to set that page as the front page, as the static page for the website. And it's very easy to do. So the only thing you have to do is go to the settings option over here in the menu. And then you need to go to the reading options. That's the third one. Click on it. You can see already the static page option has been selected, but now the page that also, that also has the title home of all the pages that I've created. But if you set this to the example one page, that's the one I've created for this tutorial, then you need to click on save changes. And then if visitors go to this URL, the, the main URL of the website, websitelearninglab.com, then the page that we have just created is being displayed. So that's what you need to do. So 
I hope you learned something new. I hope you found it interesting and it helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know. I will do my best to try to help you out. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section. And thanks for all the support that uh, some of you showed me by clicking on the thumbs up or leaving a comment or whatever. It means a lot to me. So give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so you will be notified when a new video is being uploaded. That being said, I hope you have a nice day and I see you again in the next video.